Words from the Lost Scrolls of the Brotherhood of Jesus with the paintings of T. White. Long ago, there existed a brotherhood who lived in peace with Mother Earth. They raised their heads to the Heavenly Father and were one with all living things. They could hear the sounds of the earth and stars, for truly, they were the imagination of man and woman's destiny. They lived in a garden so brilliant that today our mortal eyes could not absorb the beauty. All living things ate from the table of the earthly mother and slept in the arms of the Heavenly Father. The law was planted in the garden of the Brotherhood to illumine the hearts of the children of light, to make straight before them the seven paths leading to the tree of life, which standeth in the midst of the eternal sea. The law was planted in the garden of the Brotherhood, that they might recognize the spirits of truth and falsehood. In that time, the trees were the brothers of man, and their span on the earth was very long, as long as the eternal river, which flowed without ceasing from the unknown spring. The Brotherhood created an oasis for the development of the lost words of the Heavenly Father. Each one became a temple to the Father, and from their prayers they became great healers, performing spiritual and physical cures for the ones who had lost their way. Their great teacher, Enoch, had passed his knowledge orally to the followers of the way, and now they were ready to write the words down for a great library in the wilderness. To lift your eyes to heaven when all men's eyes are on the ground is not easy. To worship at the feet of the angels when all men worship only fame and riches is not easy. But the most difficult of all is to think the thoughts of the angels, to speak the words of the angels, and to do as angels do. I tell you truly, your body was made not only to breathe and eat and think, but it was also made to enter the holy stream of life. And your ears were made not only to hear the words of men, the song of birds, and the music of falling rain, but they were also made to hear the holy stream of sound. And your eyes were made not only to see the rising and setting of the sun, the ripple of sheaves of grain, and the words of the holy scrolls, but they were also made to see the holy stream of life. One day your body will return to the earthly mother, even also your ears and your eyes. But the holy stream of life, the holy stream of sound, and the holy stream of light these were never born and can never die. Enter the holy streams, even that life, that sound, and that light which gave you birth, that you may reach the kingdom of the Heavenly Father and become one with Him, even as the river empties into the far distant sea. We are not creatures of words, we are much more than that. Seek not the law in thy scriptures, for the law is life, whereas the scriptures are only words. I tell thee truly, Moses received not his laws from God in writing, but through the living word. The law is living word of living God to living prophets for living men. In everything that is life is the law written. It is found in the grass, in the trees, and in the river, in the mountains, and the birds of heaven, in the forest creatures, and the fishes of the sea, but it is found chiefly in themselves. All living things are nearer to God than to the scriptures, which are without life. God so made life and all living things that they might be the ever-living word. Teach the laws of the Heavenly Father and the earthly mother to the sons of men. God wrote not the laws in the pages of books, but in thy heart and in thy spirit. They are in thy breath, thy blood, and thy bone, in thy flesh, thine eyes, and thine ears, and in every little part of thy body. They are present in the air in the water, in the earth, in the plants, and in the heights. The scriptures are the works of man, but life and all its hosts are the work of God. These were the words of their master, Jesus. And then he lifted up his arms and spoke of the beauty of Mother Earth.